Not only do we need trees to absorb our carbon, when they're removed, much of the carbon they have stored is released. Rapidly growing agriculture is responsible for the vast majority of deforestation. Global demand for food, especially meat, forces millions of acres of forest to be cleared for cattle, soybean plantations, and palm oil production. Timber and fuel extraction, as well as wildfires, drive the partial destruction of forests, known as degradation. All of this is driven by our relentless economic expansion and population growth, with both set to continue increasing dramatically. While harvesting timber is necessary for our economy, unrestrained deforestation can lead to the disruption of weather patterns and the collapse of entire ecosystems. I think we have come to a point we need to restructure everything especially with the climate change and the global warming. Every part of the world is facing a huge problem. Whether it's a developed country, whether it's a developing country, whether it's a poor country, whether it's a rich country, doesn't matter. The climate change is treating everyone in the same. We have the experience in UK, we just finished the hottest summer, it was so hot. And what happened in Pakistan, wiped away. So there are things that we are in control, but there are things that we are not in control. So therefore, it's a collective effect. We know when it comes to constructions, engineers, architects, uh, developers, they're all, they're all facing this problem. Today, the climate change is knocking your doorstep. So therefore, the good news is a lot of countries, a lot of governments have taken necessary steps. Today, this morning, 100 business leaders written to the United Kingdom Prime Minister, companies like Amazon, Coca-Cola, to take more action. In Europe, they have taken actions, but they need to take more actions. What about Asia? What about uh, Middle East? I know for a fact, Middle East spending so much of money to maintain the greeneries, to maintain the greeneries. They love greeneries. Whenever they get the holidays, they travel uh, to see the greeneries. And, uh, you know, it, they, a lot of people, they come to Sri Lanka and spend like, one or two weeks, top of the grass and having their coffee. So these are the countries, they love greeneries. But what happened when it comes to constructions? Now it's the time authorities, uh, all the governing bodies get into a one platform or table. We need to discuss how we're going to move forward. Timber, it's a very important when it comes to constructions. So therefore, when you're buying timber, you got to be think twice where you're buying timber. Are they certified? Do they have FSC certification or PFC certifications? That's very important. Van der Castells, we are responsible timber merchants. So every timber we touch, we are keen on what sources this timber is coming from. We have specialized people working 24 seven and monitoring these processes. So every timber, we bring it and we sell it, we are responsible. So therefore, we only deal with legal and sustainable timber. So if you have any questions, you can contact these numbers, you can talk to them, you can visit offices in Belgium and you will definitely feel the difference. Thank you so much.